So finding food in the deep sea is obviously a very difficult thing to do because the deeper you go, the less food availability there really is. So animals have to adapt in two different ways. The first is the behavior, their search pattern. How do they find the food in the first place? Second adaptation is how do they make the most of a meal when they don't know when the next one is coming? So the first part to that is quite often you have scavenging fish and they will gently swim cross current waiting to pick up the smell of something that's arrived from the surface. Would so that be a dead squid or dead fish or whatever, whatever it may be. There are other animals, for example, filter feeders, and they're picking off small organic particles that are floating in the water column. The other one is deposit feeding, where you have things like sea cucumbers, where most of the organics in particular form will rain down like snow, we even call it marine snow, and it lies on the seafloor, and they just crawl around all day, just munching through the sediment and extracting the organics. Amphipods, for example, have evolved bowl-shaped mouths. They have very stretchy stomachs, it's called capacious guts, so they can gorge themselves. Some of them can eat three times their own body weight, and that basically acts as a food store. So they can go extremely long periods of time without eating, which is probably the most valuable adaptation in low food environments. 